put your hands together for Kyle, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hello again. Somebody recently asked me what motivates me day to day to wake up and do my job. Some people know about my job, but they're asking what motivates you. And this was an easy one. I love to trigger change, and I love to catalyze change once I triggered it. That's it. So, I'm a digital catalyst coach, a mentor to high-profile digital programs all over the world, and I just spoke to Mehdi this morning, and he said something, uh, I'm a digital acupuncture for the sea level, or something like a digital therapist. And that's why I'm here. So, okay, I think I've got... Ha! Huh, already happened. The conference talks about the rise of contextual communication. And I'm a systemic coach with a huge IT background, and so for me it's absolutely normal, quite normal, to change the context. We call it reframing. We're putting the same problem in the different context, and then it's easy in the next moment, before we were suffering somehow. Let's do it here. Ha! Let's switch the context. Let's cook an API gumbo in less than 20 minutes. How? Welcome to the API kitchen. Welcome to the small, tiny API restaurant here. I can't see my screen on this no signal HDMI, so I have to turn my head. Do you know what's crazy about cooking? There's one really crazy thing. You experience immediately if you start to cook, if you are in cooking, and I love cooking, I'm a foodie, I'm cooking whenever I'm able to cook, and I'm helping in restaurants, even in top restaurants, sometimes just on purpose, just to learn there, and there's one thing that's special, and I think we can carry it into our IT world. Did it happen? Yeah. You've got your customer's feedback instantly. Of course, there are kitchens where there are many layers of servants in front of you, you're just producing something. I'm not talking about such kitchens. I'm talking about kitchens where somebody is cooking with his whole heart and ca is carrying it to his customer. And then he sees the smile or whatever, and this is feedback. And so I'm taking this as an example. It's not possible to fix it. So, I'm always watching the chef's table. This is a it's serious, this is absolutely massively influencing me because I see people with such a dedication doing such a great thing with fine stuff and such a... They are so in the moment doing the stuff that they are, that they are doing and to carry it to the customer. This is my source of wisdom, is the chef's table and series like that on Netflix on other companies. This is what I took from here. Let's translate it. I found one line in one of these episodes, and this was like absolutely mind-blowing. They said, if our guests don't come downtown and wait in line for our products, then it's not what we are after. And I'm sitting in IT booths in huge organizations, and so I can ask you the question, have you ever heard something similar in your offices? Something that's so radical? So again, we could really take this sentence into our daily life, into our organizations. Okay. And if this is the chef's mindset, we should make it our digital mindset, our API mindset, our API product management mindset, and maybe our mindset in general. I think then we all would have a better life and would be way more happy. I'm still not cooking. Just wait a bit. <laughs> it's not about recipes, it's about attitude. This is what I've taken from all these chefs. Let's cook. So, Lila, thanks. I think I'll take. Oh, this is impossible anymore. So, we'll stay here. I locked myself. Let's cook. Let's become a chef instantly. So, it takes a while, the first time I'm wearing this. I need somebody to tell me if this is okay. Yeah? Yeah, great. So, and of course, if you're a chef, you have to wear a chef's hat. 
think it works. So, let's cook. Hats making me look silly, I know that. Maybe like that, yeah, okay. Cooler. Let's cook. And what do we need? We need something to cook. Of course, we need professional cooking equipment, professional stuff, not something from Ikea or something, it's professional. Yeah, of course, it's cheap and so it's not professional. We need fresh ingredients, super fresh ingredients directly taken from the farmer's market or somewhere else. Local, of course, this is the stuff what we need, not from the supermarket. We need passion. Nobody thinks about passion. That's the main ingredient to run anything. We need intuition. A cook needs intuition. Everything happens around him all the time and he knows it immediately, he just knows it. We need creativity. So it should ring in our head if you're working for big organizations. We heard these words before, but somehow we can't get it into the right order. And we need a serving attitude. We have this shoe shine box out there. There is a serving attitude, I'm willing to serve. We had this line before, and I do it from my heart without feeling bad. And on the other hand, just to add it, it needs an attitude to be served. That's the customer. And in our society, we are not either not used to this and to that. We have to change it. And we have to have a massive love for our guests slash customers. How would it be if we would treat our customers as guests? It would change almost everything. And it needs one more thing. It needs heat. Massive heat. Because we're not talking about low and slow. I love to barbecue ribs. 18 hours, 24 hours, really low, all this reverse searing, but we won't get to any digital success or whatever if we are going low and slow. It feels like on a digital journey, but it's really convenient. Nothing happens. We can see it everywhere. It's about heat. It's about speed up. Okay. The foundation. When you start to cook, you need a foundation. And this is something like a soup stock. This is a base of everything, and it has, to be, it has to be fresh. Of course, it has to be fresh. And this is a no. Whoever promises to create something out of the box that just fits and is, pretends to be a soup stock, this won't work. And it tastes like beep. This happens, we all know it, but we're doing it in our jobs, we're doing it differently, okay? So for this occasion here, we say simply no. Good. We have to cook our stuff on our own. Yeah, that's right. Kai, stop talking, start cooking. I wrote a cookbook. It's called Let's write past wrongs, and it's about making past wrongs right. It's an easy one. And it has many, many pages, and you will find on page 926, 700, eight, oh. on page 926 you will find the perfect API gumbo in less than 20 minutes. I talk too much, but... Maybe I can be faster. And forget about the recipe, it's about the attitude. So, kitchen, Whoa. kitchenware. Oh, I see there are still some stains from the former idea to treat it as another software project. I have to get this out of the pot, of course. And still, some leftovers of an integration approach. This is harder. Ah, we don't want to have that such stuff in our pot. Never, ever. We know it doesn't work. It ruins our gumbo. Good. Let's start. Switching the oven on. It's already a bit hot. Good. Olive oil. Reducing friction. 
so. It's a huge pot. Ah, good. Olive oil. Extra virgin. Olive oil. Now, I brought from, of course, I brought something from the farmer's market. This is an onion. I have to cut it. So, ah, more heat. So, yeah. Ooh, it's still something. I found a, ah, take it out, it's a, a monolithic dinosaur. <laughs> it's a wrong place for our soup. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so we've got onions already. We've got some garlic. Yes. We've got, ah, I'm so well prepared. We've got some salt. Ah, no, not like this on the hand. And salt. And of course, pepper. So, a bit more. Okay, salt and pepper. And now we're stirring it well and let it simmer for a while. Ah. It starts to smell like a little bit like an agile milieu. Oh, can, can you smell it? It's becoming something great. Let's add some tomatoes. Now, we want to, we want to create an API gumbo. We need some teams. And I brought fresh teams from the farmer's market as well. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Still wet. Oh, they, they taste so good. We have packed each team. I'm going to unpack it and put it right into this. I think these are, they sell it as squats. So we've got a product manager right into it. Technical lead and up to five top-notch developers. So we have to start to fund. They're consuming. It's getting hot. So they're consuming money. So, but we need to have more. I've got a second squad. Try to forget that you need an API product manager, a technical lead, and five super fresh, really super fresh, not from the basement somewhere. Take super fresh developers. And of course. Another, it's complete, another squad. And now we have to fund again. So, I have to make everything again really. Three squad squads could be enough, but now, oh, it smells, it smells so good. More funding. Ah, ah now they look happy. Oh, they start to code. Wow, so now the sad part. There's always a sad part on everything. My initial idea was to kill a cow live on stage. <laughs> I was prepared with such a butcher's knife and Lila said no, no, no. Okay. I don't kill a cow like that. This was my initial plan. I'm doing it diff differently. And so, I took my, take my cookbook aside. I found something fresh. Let me introduce Mui. <laughs> She's sweet, but she has to die. This is a Enterprise architecture cow. <laughs> you won't get a, an API gumbo without killing the enterprise architecture go, cow. Maybe you just need a small slice of it. And now I'm doing it. I've got, I'm prepared, I know it's rude. For those who can't stand it, just close your eyes. I'm gonna kill her. Mui, bye bye. This is not a sharp knife. I, I tried to cut something from the end. I killed her before. We don't need her anymore. We just need this little piece. Bye bye, Mui. We have to cook again. It needs more. It needs, of course, it needs vegetables. It needs some carrots. They're inseparable. So it needs. Uh, Steer it well, more heat. So, more heat. 
Jackfruit, whatever, what is it? Hmm? Eggplant. Eggplant. Okay, good. I'm a chef, I should know it, but, and of course, more heat. We want to get ready very early. So now we have to dilute it a bit. It's still too hot. We have to make it a little bit thinner with API IPA. This is secret ingredients. So, a bit more. Oh, do you smell it? This is amazing. It smells fantastic. And it's time for seasoning. I've got something to season it. Oh, Dora, it's so good. Ah, let me see all my seasonings here. I've got, we need a dash of governance. Impudence. Positive insanity. Oh, of course it needs that. More IPA. Good. Positive insanity, of course. So, dedication. Minced simplicity. So. So. And one more insanity. Positive as well. It's, so, it's already so good. So it's time to serve. We're done. Now, we've got some kind of menu. Other people would say, develop a portal. A neat and clean and catchy developer portal slash menu. So imagine this menu here. I'm not prepared for that, but you can, you can do that. And we have to find the right portion and of course the right price, as always. So, serving time. Leila, may I introduce you on stage to be my test guest? My guest. Just be my guest. Thank you. You're welcome. So, I'm gonna prepare something <laughs> for you. Oh, it's so good. Oh, look at that. And this one is even nicer. You'll get that one. Wow. And one of these, <laughs> these, and of course, as planned, one of these, and the main part, this. Now, it's time to decorate. It's not only putting it on the plate. We have to do way more. We have to make it nice. And how to make it nice? <laughs> Blossoms, for example. If you know your customer, you know how to decorate. So. And if you don't love your customer, forget about cooking. So. Beautiful. This is for you. Okay. By heart. Thank you. Please taste it. How is it? This is outstanding. Thank you so much. Wonderful, really. Thank you. And would you come downtown and wait in line for to eat such things again, cooked by me? On a rainy day, I would. Thank you so <laughs> much. So, I think that's it. We are almost made it. You, you can eat it all, especially the blossoms. Don't stop. More water? My guest. I say, like Julia Childs, one of my favorite chefs, bon appétit et, of course, bon API. Thanks. Thank you.